Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Galway, Ireland. And today we're going to talk about are some of the most overrated places that you can visit. And most of these I've actually been to and some have been so overrated I just can't bring myself to go to. But before I get into like the overrated thing, I think it's important to note that some people will say, oh, Paris is overrated or, or Cancun is overrated. Well, honestly, for what they are, they're exactly what they are. Paris is culture and food and sites and museum. Cancun is beach and partying. That's what they're for. They're not overrated. They're perfectly rated for what they are. What I'm gonna put in here are places we've gone, a place we tried to go to that really the wow and everything that's kind of put out there for it was kind of different when we were here. We were actually kind of underwhelmed by it. So this is maybe overrated and underwhelmed as well. And I think when I talked about this topic with Jocelyn, we both said in unison, Number one, Aruba. You know, Aruba, the island in the Southern Caribbean that literally doesn't get hurricanes, so people go there all year round. Yes, Aruba, that happy little island. I wanna tell you, if you wanna know what it's like if New England and New York threw up on a Caribbean island, that's what you have. The prices are expensive, even for the Caribbean, it is expensive, but also it's the fact that you'll see giants and patriots flags flying everywhere, and, and you just feel like you're kind of an extension on a fancier, warmer suburb of one of the major cities in the Northeast. So it has a definitely a different vibe than other islands in the Caribbean. And I'm not saying it's not worth going to. The beaches there are beautiful. If you're on the West Coast, those are the beaches you go to. The East Coast, it's a little too dangerous to go in the water there, so you wouldn't go there. But overall, it was really kind of overrated underwhelming experience so i think if you want to go to the caribbean and you want to have like a cultural experience i would go to jamaica that is a place where you can get fantastic experiences all kinds of stuff more adventure stuff you can do that if you want more of a just i want beach relax do nothing repeat then you've got turks and caicos i, I would recommend that route but yeah aruba that was number one in both my and jocelyn's list of overrated now next on my list is vancouver british columbia now you'd think with all the movies and tv shows that are filmed there and the way they talk about vancouver on hgtv and everything it must be the greatest place to live ever it must be a wonderful place to live actually for nature yes the nature there is beautiful the whale watching that's really cool uh the museum of anthropology where you see all the first nation stuff i mean it, that's really incredible like those are cool stanley park cool going to the granville market that's cool like there's some cool stuff there i'm not saying it's not a good place to go but i'm saying is it's overrated because when you're there you're like wow the architecture is kind of ugly oh there's a steam clock that's cool and yeah the uh the white caps their hat their hats are pretty cool you know their, their gear is pretty cool but you kind of are like they're going huh this is it huh because honestly if i look at places we've got in canada that i've enjoyed significantly more Quebec City would be number one. Toronto would be number two. I would put Montreal above Vancouver as well. Now, I think it was not, it's not that it's not worth visiting. It's just it gets all this pub about being this great place to go. And in reality, if you want to see the kind of Pacific Northwest of the U.S. and Vancouver, I'd recommend going to Seattle over Vancouver, okay? So in terms of like things to do and enjoyment, I just found that a better experience. Because if I'm gonna spend those kind of prices to be someplace, I wanna be someplace that I really am gonna enjoy a little bit more. So though it's not a horrible place to visit, I would say Vancouver is definitely an overrated place. Now another overrated place, which is kind of a victim of its own success in terms of population growth, is Sao Paulo, Brazil. I live in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is a fantastic place to live if you're working there because it's got great shopping, it's got great restaurants, it's got, you know, it's got great club life. What it doesn't have are things for tourists to do. Yes, there are some cool museums there, a few, but and the, the, the market there is really fun to go to. But honestly, when people ask me, Mark, where's your favorite place to go in the world? I'm like, ah, because I speak Portuguese, it's Brazil. They're like, oh, I want to go to Sao Paulo. I'm like, no. If you want to do beaches, go to Bahia, go to the Northeast. If you want like colonial history, go to Minas Gerais, Ouro Preto, go there. You want like nature and get in with the animals, go to Pantanal. But Sao Paulo is extremely overrated just because of the population size. So getting around the city is always a headache because there's always traffic all the time, no matter when you're going anywhere. So that's why I really got to put it in the overrated list. I would not have it in my top five places to go if I was going to Brazil, but you do probably have to fly into there. But what's cool is from there, you can get anywhere else in the country. Now, the next overrated place is one of those things is probably one of my personal things is I'm not big into new steel glass, you know, modern kind of stuff. I would say Dubai. Now, Dubai, if you want to do shopping, if you got a lot of money and you want to do shopping and do that, it's cool. Like you want to do indoor stuff and, and the heat and you can do that. You want to do the shopping kind of stuff. You want to do that. You want to see the tallest building in the world. I mean, that, that's cool. 
But for me, it's it's so much glass and steel. It's a bit soulless as a traveler. And that's why we haven't really taken the time to go there. Because every time I'm like, okay, I'm going to go. We're going to go. I do more and more research. And I'm like, look, I can go someplace else and play, pay to ride a camel someplace. You know, because like, you'll see people, they'll go there and they'll have the, the picture with, with the, the, the birds behind them, right? And then they'll have the picture of them on a camel doing it. And that's it. And I'm like, it's just not my thing. Okay, so that, for me, that's why I feel it's really a very overrated place. There's way cooler places you can visit if you want to do culture, if you're looking to go to the Middle East, than going to Dubai. But again, it could be because I'm not a shopper and a glass and steel person. Now, next on our overrated list is Orlando, Florida. And anyone that has bought a timeshare there probably knows that it's not as wonderful as you thought it was going to be. Because Orlando, yes, it's Florida. But there's no beaches there, people. It's swampland they build Disney World on. Now, there are fun things you do, like taking your kids to Disney once is, is, a, is a lifetime experience because honestly, you can only pay for it once in your life. But for us, our kids actually like Universal better, so I recommend doing the Universal thing over the Disney one just for the, the price, bang for your buck kind of experience stuff. But when you go there, you have insane traffic, so much, just so much traffic anywhere you go. So many tourists from all over that really are driving in many different ways, so it's really frustrating. The city's laid out in a way that it's kind of hard to get around. Not super hard, but it's just the traffic makes anything in that community really tough to do. And then there's the whole airport situation. Now there's a lot of airports you can fly into, but my goodness, if you fly in and out of Orlando International, uh, and it's during one of the peak times, it is a living, <clears throat> not happy place to be. And, and that's why I really feel it's kind of an overwhelming kind of place, but also an overrated place. If you want to do the amusement parks, do it. But what I would do is spend a night on property so you can get into that property first thing in the morning, since you can have that, get out, have that other night there and then get out go see i mean go to you want a great beach clearwater beach is fantastic you can head down to miami if you want it's a little bit of a drive but you can do that you can go to the you know the atlantic coast the gulf coast you can do that but it's one of those things that when you go and you're trying to spend like hours oh, we're gonna spend two weeks in orlando you come out a lot with a lot less money but also you come out i just feel very underwhelmed by everything you get when you're there and it, that's why i kind of have it on my overrated list place because for as many tourists that go there I don't know if it's worth it. There's a lot of better places you can go just in Florida. And the thing is, if you're looking at destinations that have the potential or threat to be overrated, I think anytime a city uses a designation like the Paris of the North, the Venice of the East, look, you don't have to be the Venice of anything if you're your own thing. Think about it. Amsterdam is Amsterdam. They have canals as well, but they don't say, oh, we're the Venice of the Benelux or vice versa. Venice doesn't say, oh, we are the Italian Amsterdam. No, they don't do that because they don't have to. That's what I always think is important when you read reviews and they're like, oh, it's the new Prague. It's the new Paris. It's this. That's just a key that's going to get you probably underwhelmed when you go there and kind of feel that the place is overrated and so you have that and you know there's a lot of places that sometimes get overrated because of so many things that happen there like you know me i'm not the biggest fan of brussels but i feel it got overrated because it was always in the news for being the capital of the european union when in reality if it was just hey it's a it's a big city in belgium that has some good museums then you'd be fine with it right oh i get to see a little tiny statue of somebody peeing cool but since it got so much news it becomes too like bigger than it is and so that kind of hurts it on the other side you have places that used to be a really cool place to go that all of a sudden became overrated because of all the tourists that go there like here in ireland going to dublin is not the great experience it used to be now i would put it in one of the most overwhelming places you go because the prices there are insane if you're not sure about it if you go to dublin talk to the locals and ask about accommodation for themselves it's crazy when you're there with the number of tourists the things going on the, the traps and the scams and just the the overall experience takes away. And that's one of the things that I can't really put it as a, one of the most overrated places in like for Dublin, but I can say, you see how places that can go from like one of the best places to go in the world to wow, this is a bit much can really happen. And that feeling, that vibe is what can turn a city from a, a tourist gem into a place that really is kind of overrated, all right? So what are some of the big places you've gone to in the world that are overrated? Let us know in the comments below so we can help other travelers be better prepared to go to these places. Because all these places I'm talking about, they're still worth going to, you know? But I'm just saying it's important to discuss these things so we can think about how we can be better tourists and have better tourist experience around the world. So wherever you are in the world, I hope it's not an overrated place. I wish you all the best. I'll say bye from here in Galway, Ireland. Definitely not an overrated place to visit. Bye.